Good morning. This is my second video of the day. It is January 18th, 2017, and it's almost 9 a.m. in the morning. I, I would like to do a video to support the minister, Kim Burrell. I'm just looking at my other monitor here. My, uh, about Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell had been, she, she gave a sermon in a church. Kim Burrell is a minister, a black female minister, and she also sings. And uh, she gave a sermon uh, during the Christmas holidays, and it was a stance against uh, certain, certain, certain sexual behavior of members who attend her church. And she very strongly said what she felt. Now, I feel for her that she has a right to speak to a par parishioners. And for her to not, as a minister, not to speak on certain behaviors, I did listen to her, the video with her um, saying what she's saying. I don't think it was so-called a hate speech per se. Hate, like, there, there, there are people who just say things because they just angry and they just want to hurt somebody's feelings. No. She was specifically addressing members of her church who are doing things and then you know the rules. Even though I no longer attend church, I used to be um, a church member. I used to be a practicing Christian. I used to follow the, the church, and in particular the black church. Mostly it was Pentecostal in background. But for about three years, I, I left the church, but I'm seeking spirituality. I, I'm not into religion anymore, but I want to search and find truth that I am to live by. So even, you know, I just felt that, that important to say that. And I didn't know who Kim Burrell was, but I heard about her recently and uh, pertaining to comments that she said to the members of her church. As a leader of her church, she has a right to speak to those individuals and she has a right to remind them when when we go to church, we basically know what the what the do's and don'ts are in the institution of the Christian church, and so she, you you know that, and if you go to go in her church, and then have any lifestyle, she has a right to address it. So what she was saying was not to just embarrass people, whatever, or what you call a hate hate rant. She's a leader of her church. And if you don't want to, if you don't agree with uh, Orthodox Christianity, then don't go to church. Don't go. And so I felt that even though I no longer attend the church, but the fact that it was a, it's an institution and black Americans they don't have a lot of institutions that they can go into. And the black church has been a haven for American blacks from day one upon our arrival in the Americas. It's the only place that we could basically safely congregate, you know? And so she, uh, Kim Burrell, or Pastor Kim Burrell, I'm not sure what her title is, but she has this institution. And all black people know, any, any church goer knows certain rules. And one is about, you know, sexual purity and everything that comes under it. We know what we're not supposed to do. We, we know about the Ten Commandments. So if you don't want to follow that, then don't go to church. You know? And I, I don't know who posted the video on her, but I feel that Kim Burrell was attacked. She, uh, the person who posted the video of 
the sermon, it prevented her now from getting guest appearances on television. And, and, and in general, I, I assume that when you be a guest on a show, you know, you might get paid for it. Or by not being on there, then it's less exposure and less publicity for her. And, you know, it affects her sales and income, you know. So I just thought it was a, a low blow for the person who posted it. And if you really felt that against what she was saying, then that individual who taped it and posted it, you instead should have gone to her directly as a man or a woman and say, look, I don't like what you said about people in certain lifestyles, and in specific homosexual lifestyles, okay? That you would have been, it would have been fair for you to address her one-on-one. -on -one. But what you did, I thought, was deliberately to hurt her and to vilify her as being a, you know, a, a hater or bigot. You know, she's a pastor. I'm sure as a pastor, she has a lot of people come to her with a lot of temptations or things that happen to them. People who get pregnant, people who get sexually transmitted diseases, which is rampant in the black community. In particular, it's rampant. And I remember when I used to go to church, particularly in the, in the Caribbean, that people would have sex in the church itself, young people, children. They would have a, a room, and they would go in there to have sex. And I remember hearing about that, you know? Or at another time, the, you know, certain things. It is like if, if you're a minister... And you, 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 you're being afraid to speak out, you know, to, of what the Bible says. If those people who want to follow the Bible, the Old and New Testament, that is their business. But we all, you all know the rules, okay? And when you, you know, go against it, then, you, then the minister has a right to, to tell you. I, I feel that the church and other institutions are being infiltrated by people with agendas. And that, it's that what I'm against. Agenda. I don't care about people's lifestyle. What you want to do, if you, you, know, you do behind closed doors. I don't want to hear or see it. You know, like any, everybody. Everybody has the right for their practices. But stop infiltrating standard institutions that you know what it stands for and then try to get in trouble someone who's just doing their job. The black community needs all the help that it can get because all the, 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 the decay that is infiltrating the church. And when I say decay, I'm talking about people who are just not living a, a high standard. We're all fall short. We all have problems and hang-ups. And I'm one of them. I have problems. But I want to live a godly life. And so if you want to live a godly life, any institution you choose, live according to its rules. Okay? And those people who are of the homosexual community or whatever um, sexual orientation community, have your own institution and, and post it up. And anyone who wants to have a certain lifestyle, you know, and if it's that lifestyle, you form your own church and go there. Stop infiltrating people's institutions that you know what, it, what it's all about and then try to slam them and prevent them from earning a living. She wasn't attacking your institution. But if she has a member in her church, she has a right to speak to that person. She was not addressing the general homosexual community, but members of her own church. So that, that's, that's what I'm against. And people shouldn't be afraid to talk in their own home. But, but I say, look, have your own institution and live by it. Hey, you invite, invite us all to your, to your uh, church 
and, and you wouldn't like if you had your institution and non people of your community come in and videotape and try to shame you. See, that's where you draw the line. And who's the real hater, you know? And I, I also want to say this pertaining to the, 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 the person who, uh, who outed uh, Kim Burrell, that, you know, when, when push comes to shove, that, you know, in particular with the black community, that, you know, when you get, when you get in trouble, when you get sick, when, you, when you're dying of these diseases, where do you go to? Or the parents of those people, where, where do you go? In the black church. When you have a funeral, it'll be in a black church. It won't be in a, in a, uh, an institution, you know, the, um, homosexual community church. No, it's going to be most likely in the black church. And she's going to give you a sermon or he's going to give you, a, you know, what do you call it? A, to, to, to pray, you know, at the funeral, you know, don't, don't throw her under the bus. You know, don't do that. And for other black ministers out there who's not backing her, what the, I heard her speech, you know, just, it, was, it was a snippet of the speech. See, they're not, they're not brave enough to put the whole sermon, but just a snippet to, to make a look, uh, to put it out of context. But I, I'm not hearing any of the black ministers out there to her defense. Shame on you, black ministers and white ministers and yellow and red Hispanic ministers. What she said was standard of the church about its members. What happens outside of that church is nobody else's business, but what's in your home is your business. So speak out. Don't be afraid of the money or to get on somebody's talk show so you can sing or get an award, you have to stand behind what you really believe in. If you believe in the Christian Bible or the Jewish Bible or the Muslim Bible or the Buddhist Bible or the Hindu Bible, whatever what faith system, keep the standard of your religion and stand by what it says. And those ministers who aren't speaking on her, her behalf, you're saying that you are afraid of 1% um, one percent um, people in this country. I think the homosexual community only makes up maybe 1% or 2%. And you're not speaking out? You're afraid of 1%, 2%? You're a coward. You're a coward. And I, 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 it's, it's awful. You're a coward. Then it's not a church anymore. It's a hangout for anything goes. Don't offend anybody. Don't say what the word says. And I said to say outside what the Bible says. If you believe in the Bible, you go by what it says. And those people who don't agree, you know, tell them, get out. Get, 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 get an invitation. Say, you know, Kim Burrell said what she said. Those people who don't, agree, please leave. Just like that. But they want to stay. Be, be a man and woman. Form your own institution and, and let us go see what you're all about. If you like what you're about, stand by what, by what you believe in. But let us who don't believe in certain lifestyle or institute, you know, let us, let people have their institutions and you have your own. Stop trying to infiltrate other people's institutions. That's all I, I have to say. And, and, and for the ministers out there who aren't backing her, then you're all about, you're, you're, you're just afraid, you're a coward. And I'm glad I'm not in the church anymore because I don't want to be involved with cowards. Stay, stay strong, Kim Burrell. Stay strong, and God will bless you because you're standing by your convictions. And may those ministers who are cowards, may they fall. Maybe I shouldn't say it like that. 
I'm just saying, look, you, you're not right. And I don't know how God is going to bless you by your actions, you know. But, you know, this is food for thought for the whole community, any, any community out there, because you have an institution. It could be any institution. It could be a job. And it could be cut short because of your stance. Don't hate on anybody. Don't hate, you know, people's sexual lifestyle. What what people want to do in their in their behind closets, that's their business. And what I do or, or you do, or whatever, is your business. But let us stand behind the institution that you support. So that's all I have to say. And uh, please feel free to comment below uh, to share this video uh, with friends, family members, and um, subscribe to Spirit Journey if you like, and to give me the thumbs up if you like. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day, and peace and love to all on this planet, because it's a struggle for all of us. Bye-bye.